life places a demand on every one of us so responding to the demand is what we call discipline not doing as you like no but as is, it is right you do as it is right not as you like doing right things that's discipline enduring hardness when not convenient convenience is a burial place of giants inconvenience is a crucible where greatness is born make your choice thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of christ remember it is a race it's a call to so a soldier life second timothy chapter 2 verses 3 all the way to 6. discipline is essentially about self-control self-control you know there are two kinds of control you have imposed control that is where people make you to do things that you don't like for instance you have to be at work at 8 a.m by force you are not there you are queried but there are those who are disciplined who are programmed themselves to be at work before eight nobody's forcing him he has disciplined himself now imposed discipline will leave you as a slave when you have to be told to do what is right at all times be careful you will end as a slave but when you grow to discipline yourself you will grow to become a king very important so self-discipline is about self-control the ability to say no now one thing that most people lack in this world especially youths is the ability to say no we live in a yes 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 world will you drink yeah will you go out with me yeah <laughs> will you love me yeah <laughs> now very few people are able to say no and if i may tell you the truth if you don't know how to say no you will never be known no you discover that most distinguished people in life are those who have developed the ability to say no without feeling guilty why is it that we don't want to say no because you feel you will be offending somebody if i if i say no now how will they feel if you say yes how will you yourself feel turn the question around don't say no to don't say yes to hurt yourself after all the scripture says love your neighbor as yourself not that more than yourself don't bow to please people and displease yourself don't bow to please people to displease yourself because when you displease yourself you displace yourself in the plan of God for your life don't bend otherwise you will blend and lose your identity don't bend to what people say don't bend to what people feel otherwise you'll find yourself blended and once you blend you use you lose your identity now look at this we have uh some kitchen equipment called grinder you put in entities you put tomato uh pepper and different things in different entity but once you turn on the blender it blends everything you cannot identify which one is tomato and uh, 
pepper again. It has become common. So when you bend, you blend, and your life of entity will become commonized. Nobody will know you again. Stand out as a disciplined person. They may mock you for it, but they will celebrate you later for it. They mocked us, now they celebrate us. How? Discipline. As I speak to you right now, that spirit is released.